Good morning, guys. <sighs> Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. Hope everybody's having a great day. I am, hold on. Hope everybody's having a great Thursday and ready to get this morning started. I know I am late, but I am here. Um, so good morning. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. We are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life and finances. My name is Yamitra Jojo Wada, the only Live Past Crazy Special, so what better place to be than here with me. Hope you guys are so ready to get this day started. I know that I am. I was working on, so let me um, share this with you guys. So y'all know, I'm going to post a lot of links. Um, so y'all know that uh, we are doing um, Be Fearless, uh, Fearless Woman Born to Give Thanks, which is my first book. We are doing uh, a book tour, and we, the first stop is Tampa. So we are coming to um, Tampa, and if you would like to pre-order your book, you can grab it at bit.ly forward slash book tour 2019. You can grab it there as well. Um, and I did tell you guys that we are having a girlfriend's retreat. So I am using the wrong link. I'm using the wrong thing. B-I-T dot girlfriend's retreat 2019. And I literally just created this link. So you guys bear with me for two seconds as I post it. So that is the retreat that is coming up in August. That is August the 23rd through the 25th. It's going to be in Clearwater. Um, so the early bird tickets are on sale now. So come bring your girlfriend and know that you are going to have an amazing time. So that's August the 23rd through the 25th. We will be in Clearwater and the tickets are available now. bit.ly forward slash girlfriend's retreat 2019 um so that you can um grab your ticket uh and you got plenty of time because it's all the way in august and if you want me to come to your city please don't forget um to let me know and we can make that happen as well all right guys so on the fearless thought for the day i read something i read a quote yesterday where's my sticky note I read a quote yesterday, actually, that um, that just stuck with me, and so I had to uh, I had to write it down so that I could share it. Number one, and it earned a place on my wall of quotes, so I'm excited to share it with you guys. Please make sure you share the video because sharing is caring. And if your friends and family do not have Facebook, please send them over to the YouTube channel so they can binge watch all the Fearless Morning shows over there i greatly appreciate it. now if you guys missed the show yesterday we talked about your time and your 50 percent and what you're doing with it and uh when tuesday we talked about connecting the dots and then on monday we talked about fear frustration and anger um how they are heavy on you so today's fill a stop for today and i need a sip of water you guys lord i'm a little thirsty i worked out this morning Aren't y'all proud of me? All right, so here's the fearless thought for the day. And I read this, and so I'm going to read the quote directly. And it is from Dr. Sheldon Good's mother. Okay, Dr. Sheldon Good's mother. It says, initiative can't be taught. Good morning, Margaret. It says, initiative can't be taught. You have to realize that some people don't want better. They just want your best to be available at they're worse. Don't lose trying to help them. Y'all, let me read that again because it's, it's deep, it's deep, 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 deep. And I think it is amazing. I think it warrants saying it again. The best that it says initiative 
cannot be taught. You have to realize that some people don't want better. They just want your best to be available at their worst. Don't lose trying to help them win. How amazing is that? Like that just, I was like, what? Can I read it one more time? Initiative can't be taught. You have to realize that some people don't want better. They just want your best to be available at their worst. Don't lose trying to help them win. When I tell y'all I'm all the way guilty of all of that. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Some people don't want better. They just want you at your best to be available at their worst. That means they don't really care what you have going on. They don't really care about anything else. All they need to know is that when they call on JoJo, JoJo is going to be available. And she's going to be available at her best for them because they are at their worst. Don't you hate that? You have to realize that some people don't want better. They just want you at your best to be available at their worst. Don't lose trying to help them win. And here's the thing, friend. We can get caught up in that cycle when it comes to our family, when it comes to our closest friends, because we want them to succeed. We want them to win. We want them to do all the things right. But in the end, nothing is going to... Good morning, Kiba. Nothing is going to be initiative. Nothing. And then there's absolutely nothing we're going to be able to say or do that's going to make them feel good enough to want to do it themselves. They just want you to do it so that when they come to you with their problems or their issues, you are available to them because you've already worked on yourself. So they know you already have the answers to the things that they are seeking. They just don't want to do the work that you did to get the answer that you got. So they want the easy way and they want you to tell them. And so when you tell them, they will then come back and say, it's not working, JoJo. It's because you didn't do the work. Nothing beats initiative. Good morning, Jasmine. And this guy, and this Dr. Shelton Good, his mother gave him that piece of advice. And I told him that earned a spot on my wall of quotes because it's absolutely true. And then you're so busy helping them that you're losing. You're not winning. Meaning you may be losing at the things that you're setting out to do. You may be losing at the dreams and, and things that you want to accomplish. You may be losing at trying to figure yourself out because as you're trying to figure yourself out, you have your friends or your girlfriends or your mom or your cousin, and you want them to get it just like you're getting it. And so you're trying to drag them along, but you're losing and they are winning. You want them to win so much, you're losing. You want them to have the best so much that you have lost it all. Thank you, Margaret. I'm just saying. You have to realize some people don't want better. They just want you at your best to be available at their worst. How many friends do we have like that? And people, let's, even if it's not a friend or a family member, how many people that you associate with even at work? So I taught an empathy training class at work yesterday. And we talked about that. And one lady brought up, she was like, well, what do we do? You know, there's this one person, all they do is complain all the time. And I said, you have to realize how you have to deal with that person. And if you know that that's what they're coming with, you have to change how you interact with that person because they're coming to you at their worst, always expecting you at your best. They're never going to bring their best to you. They're always going to bring their worst because their worst is their best. Their worst is their best. And that's all they got. All they got is to complain it. 
and they're darn good at it. That's all they got. And as long as JoJo is at her best, as long as JoJo is doing good, they are okay. They're okay because then they know they can come to JoJo with their worst. Initiative can't be taught. You have to realize that some people don't want better. They just want your best to be available at their worst. Don't lose trying to help them win. I have lost trying to help other people win. Guilty. I have lost plenty trying to help other people win because I wanted what was best for them or I wanted more for them than they wanted for themselves. Anybody else guilty of that? Yeah, I'm hot. I'm a little warm. Anybody else guilty of that? Me. Correct. Cause it, and then here's a thought that came to me last night. When we dealing and, and when you're dealing with these people, and I say these people lightly, or when you're dealing with crazy, whatever, if it's a past crazy, let's say it's a crazy you've dealt with before, right? So um yeah, their worst is their best. And that's all they got. And Michael, they're not trying to increase that. They're not trying to change that whatsoever. They don't want to. Let's be clear. They don't want to change. They don't. They are A-OK -okay exactly where they are. We have the problem. Great morning, Miss Valerie. We have the problem. So we're so busy trying to help them win that we're losing. And I love that quote. I don't know his mama's name, but his name is Dr. Sheldon Good, And his mama gave him that advice. Initiative cannot be taught. You have to realize that some people don't want better. They just want your best to be available at their worst. Don't lose trying to help them win. This, my friend, my sister, is hard. And I just saw this quote yesterday, but I related it to family. And I couldn't have said it better. This is hard when it comes to family. So my family wants me at my best when they are at their worst. They can come to me. But they, the worst, their worst is their best. They don't want to change their worst. They enjoy their worst. They, some people enjoy, I got to tell my mother, some people look like they are enjoying all of their crazy. They have no problem with it. And it is I that has the problem with it. And so it is I that has to deal with it and remove myself from it. And you cannot hinder yourself to help them win. Exactly. Crazy is, did y'all see my post yesterday? The truth never changes. The truth never changes. Crazy will try to convince you that their version, that they're crazy is the truth. And if you're in it long enough, it will become so. But if you are bound and determined to remove yourself from the crazy, then you realize that that may not necessarily be the truth. And then what are you going to do with that? But you can't lose yourself trying to help them win. I have wanted more for friends than they ever wanted for themselves. And I was busy trying to help them win that I was losing. Same thing with family. And, and it is it is a sticky subject it is a tacky subject it is difficult because it is family because ultimately we all have that it's your family we need to take care of them this is what we need to do this is what we need to accomplish but when you think about this quote you have to realize that some people don't want better they just want you to be available at your best so that you're available to them at their worst so when negative Nelly and complaining Patty come around, they want you to be at your very best. And so you're steady trying to be at your best to change the situation. And you are assuming that you're changing it for the whole of the family, but that's not what they want. They just want to be able to come to you in the midst of crisis. Hello, somebody. So that you can fix it. And then you find yourself losing yet again, trying to make them win. Trying to make them, and we're talking about trying, let's put this on a minute level, trying to make them win at the bare basics of life. Not trying to make them win and we pinky in the brain taking over the world. Trying to make them win just to think differently. 
just to see things differently. And so it's difficult. It is a tightrope. You have to balance that very delicately because you want, there is the respect factor. There is, I don't want to hurt people feelings factor. There's the respect my elders, respect my mama factor. <sighs> yes, ma'am. It's a vicious cycle. And somebody, y'all, got somebody got to stop it. What, a couple of months ago, last, over the fall, we talked about you got to be the torchbearer. Somebody's got to be the torchbearer. And that means you got to burn them ties and break it down so that we can have a new way of doing things. Because this old way ain't working. And we'll keep going, we'll keep going the old way, even though the bridge is out. We done made a path through the woods. Even though the woods is overgrown, because it's the only way we know we're going to keep going that way, even though it doesn't serve us. So, initiative can't be taught. You have to realize that some people don't want any better. They just want your best to be available at their worst. Don't lose trying to help them win. Don't lose trying to help them win. That's not your business. Hard thing to understand. Hard, hard, hard concept to grasp. And it, it was especially hard for me because if you know me and if you're around me, you know that I want everybody to win. And if it's and I, that's winning anything, not win, ooh, go out, start your business, live your best. I'm talking about winning whatever it is that you set your mind to do. And here is the tricky part, my sister. And all of this came with this quote yesterday. I had all these thoughts with this quote yesterday. And you can find him on LinkedIn. This is where I found Dr. Shelton Good. His mother gave us this quote. This is what I understood with this. And, I, I, and it made me think about it. It's not that we're losing. They do want us at our best so we can help them at their worst. That's true. Please understand when they continuously come to us at their worst. And they're continuously coming to us expecting us to meet them where they are to help them win or to help them overcome or to help them whatever problem or situation or thought idea continuously my sister they are taking advantage of us plain and simple they're taking advantage of us they are taking advantage of the fact that you've done the work already so they want the quick answer and the quick fix. So we're going to call JoJo and we're going to say, JoJo, give me the quick answer. I'm going to give you the quick answer. But if you don't do the work, the quick answer is going to become the quick problem and the crazy continues. And so they're going to continue to misuse you. They're going to continue to take advantage of you. They're going to continue to abuse you emotionally because emotionally it is taxing. It is overwhelming to be in that space. It's overwhelming to be there. It's overwhelming to be at my best when somebody only wants their worst and they don't want nothing more. And then you bring it to me and, it, and I'm trying to swim through your worst to tell you something, to give you the light that you're looking for to understand or maybe to be a seed planter, to give you something to hold on to, or maybe a thought process. Maybe if you do this different, sister, I'm swimming through your words to tell you something about the better and I am exhausted. And guess what? They don't care how hard you got to swim to get to them. They don't care the junk you got to go through to help them understand what it is that they ask. They don't care. All they know is when they are at their worst, they need you at your best and they need you to deliver. And in the midst of that, you're drowning trying to help them live. I just got that for myself. A to the man. You're drowning, killing yourself, trying to help them live past crazy. Come on, somebody. But they just want you at your best. So when they come to you at your work, so they want you to work out. They want you to read, they want you to read all the books. 
They want you to take the notes. They want you to have the quotes. They want you to have them on the wall. They want you to listen to the Fearless Morning Show. They need you to do all the things. They want you to come to retreat August 23rd through 25th. They need that. They need you to, to be prayed up. They need you to have that prayer closet. They need you to read the word. They need you to hide it in your heart so you don't sit against the Lord. They need you to know that your steps are ordered somebody. They need to know that you can move that mountain, that your help coming from the Lord. They need you to know all the things they are betting on you living your best life so that when they come to you with their worst, you are ready and they do not care. They do not care. They are taking advantage of the fact that you have done the work and they're eating your soul alive and you wonder why you are exhausted after you interact with these people. I am, y'all, I'm getting this from myself. Hey, this is a revelation. This is all for me. Eight to the man. I'm exhausted by the end of the conversation. I'm tired by the end of the interaction because they don't care that I had to fight through all of their stuff to get to them to tell them what they needed to know. All they said was, okay. They didn't say thank you. They didn't acknowledge the things that you've done. And we're losing ourselves trying to help them win, right? Because as long as you are serving them, you are serving their crazy. You are serving, <laughs> you are serving their inability to take any action. You are serving their inability to do anything with their lives. You're serving their inability to stay stuck where they are. You are serving their inability of insecurity. You are serving their inability to understand that they have to got to do the work for themselves because you, my sister, cannot do it for them to help them to arrive to where they need to be. It is an individual journey and we all have got to do it on ourselves. So as we're doing all the things to understand how we are to live past crazy, they are betting on us doing that. They are betting on us doing that and they're taking advantage of us. Plain and simple. And it can be your mama. It can be your sister. It can be your brother, your cousin, them. It can be your best friend. It could be your husband. It could be your boo thing. It can be whoever this applies to. Don't lose trying to help them win. And then as we're trying to save them, to help them, to help negotiate where they need to be. Well, Ma, if you, if you just thought about it this way, Mama, because your frame of mind has been set so your whole life that if you could just let in a window of light, Ma, to see something different, I promise. What 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 it say about the light on the candle? I got a minister in the house. The light on the hill, behind the bush, it shine. Ma, if you just let in a little light, if you just think different for that long, it won't kill you. First of all, that's the rule in my house. If you think something different, guess what will not happen? You won't die. You're just going to think a different thought, which may open up to different thoughts, which may release you from self-imposed restrictions because you wonder why you angry and frustrated with life. It's because you don't self-impose all these restrictions on yourself. So you, <laughs> here's my thing. Here's, here's one of my pet peeves. And this is a self-imposed restriction. I don't understand. I can't go to bed. It's 830. Oh, it's too early to go to bed because it's nine o'clock, but you sit on the couch and go to sleep. What's the difference? I'm grown. If I'm sleepy, I'm going to bed. If I'm hungry, I'm going to eat. If I feel like doing something, I'm going to do something. And if you start looking at the minute things, how many of us have our self-imposed restrictions and our family have those self-imposed restrictions and they are so hell-bent on holding on to the tradition of a thought that is no longer serving them, that they're continuously losing they're very well aware that they're losing. Doesn't matter. They need JoJo to be at her best so that when they come to her, when she when they're losing, she can help fix them or give them the information that they need while they're losing. And they, they know that JoJo is going to help them try to win at all costs. And that's all that matters because they don't want better. That's what his mama said. Initiative can't be taught. You have to realize some people don't want better. They just want JoJo at her best so that I am available to them at their worst. And their worst is their best. How they're living now is the best they're ever going to be. It's the best they're ever going to go. It is the best, period. 
And JoJo can't lose herself trying to help them win. I've done that. And my sister, they are simply taking advantage of the situation. It is sad, ugly, hurtful, angry truth. It is. I got that for my whole self this morning. Hey, to the man. I was feel that made me feel better. I was feeling a little nauseated and looking for some water. A little lightheaded, but that made me feel better. I can if I'm gonna do all the things, and I don't mind being my sister's keeper. It is my plight in life. I don't mind sharing information. It's who and what I'm supposed to do. And I'm aligning my whole soul and body to that. However, I cannot lose trying to help you win. As Rosie says, I can be your space giver. I can allow you a safe place to come, to share, to dream, to think. But initiative cannot be taught. I cannot want it more than you want it for yourself. Like, I need to lose weight, as the doctor told me yesterday. Y'all can't want it more for me than I want it for myself. That's why at 515, who was working out? Mad. Angry. And it's not that I hate working out, but you know how you get into the routine of it? Thank you. Amen, Valerie. With all that getting, get understanding. And, and Valerie, can you find this Bible verse? And I, I don't have my Bible, but it's marked in my Bible. And it says, why... Are you gaining all of this knowledge? Why do you have all of this information, but you don't apply what you've learned? What What's the point of getting all the knowledge if you're not going to apply what you learn? And I'm telling you, I'm so paraphrasing that, Valerie. Good luck with finding that. I'm pretty sure it's in the New Testament. It says, why are you getting all of this knowledge when you're not applying it? Why listen to the morning show if you're not going to apply? And I love you being here. I hope I've said something that dropped a seed that's going to help you just let a little light in to let you know your brain will not break if you just think different for a half a second. Maybe let go of a tradition that's no longer serving you. Right. <clears throat> How many of us have knowledge of a thing, but we don't apply the thing? Guilty, <laughs> all the way guilty. We have the knowledge, but we're not applying it. Why do we do that? Same Bible verse, not the same one, but in there it says, why do you work for the thing that doesn't satisfy your soul? Why do you do that? The Bible is full of a lot of life questions, but at the end of the day, they all require action. So to feel the start of the day, initiative cannot be taught. You have to realize that some people don't want better. They just want you at your best to be available at their worst. Don't lose trying to help them win. And some people put unrealistic expectations upon us. And because we are who we are, JoJo is who she is, they take advantage of that because they know that JoJo is going to want try to do anything in her power to help them. And they're taking advantage of it. They're taking advantage of you. They're taking advantage of the situation. They're taking advantage of the knowledge that you have. They're taking advantage of the work that you have done. And they are at their worst and they are in their worst is their best and they're enjoying every minute of it. And so they only, <laughs> and this is what I've come to realize. I knew Margaret was, I knew Knew you was going to find it, ever learning, and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And as y'all can see, I paraphrased that whole Bible verse. You getting all this knowledge, you ain't applying it. You ain't looking at the truth of it. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. A to the men. Thank you, Minister Valley. I greatly appreciate it. I'm glad you found it. Because, honey, didn't I paraphrase that thing? I'm just saying. So, today, guys, on this thankful Thursday, um, and Dr. Sheldon Good, DPA, um, his mama said, initiative can't be taught. You have to realize that some people don't want better. They just want you at your best to be available at their worst. Don't lose trying to help them win. And sometimes the only way we can help them win, JoJo, are you listening, JoJo? The only way you can help them win 
is to leave them alone. The only way I can help some people win is to leave them alone. The only way, JoJo, you can help some people win, are you listening, is to leave them alone. Leave them alone. Because their worst is their best. And the sooner you realize that, the better. Because they only want to come to you, JoJo, to get hyped up for a minute. To feel good for a minute. Ain't that, ain't, don't some of us use church like that? We just need to use it for a minute, go there for a minute, get hyped up to feel good, to leave, to continue to do the same thing. I just need to get a word. Just saying. Margaret, I'm sure you do use slightly different words and sentiments. Right. And so sometimes the best way we can help somebody win is to leave them alone. You got to. Sometimes the only way to help somebody win is to leave them alone. Initiative can... Good morning, my sister. How you doing? The, um, the, the quote, the fearless thought for the day, Dr. Sheldon Good. initiative cannot be taught. You have to realize some people don't want better. They just want you at your best to be available at their worst. Don't lose trying to help them win. You can, you can want it for your mama all day. You can want it for all day and you drowning and killing yourself trying to help her win. And you can't help her win if you are dying. You're doing all the things that you're supposed to do. And then when they come to you at their worst, they're not caring. They just need you to be at your best. They want what's, when they say they want what's best for you, they mean it. They want you to go to school. They want you to get all the education. They want you to read the books, transform your mind, learn to invest. They want you to do all the things. So when they come to you at their worst, because their worst is their best. When they come to you at their worst, JoJo is available and ready because she's done the work. And all they want from JoJo is to get a word, to get some inspiration, to carry on their crazy. Don't don't we lose church like that? Ain't, ain't that what? Because y'all y'all know I'm a firm believer. We go to church, we fall out, you get sprayed in holy oil, you deep fried in the holy oil, laying of the hands. I'm speaking in the tongues. I'm yes and pastor. I'm paying my tithes. And Lord, I'm at the altar and I'm laying it down at the cross. And soon as you say A to the man, I'm picking up the very thing that I just laid down. Because it has now become my normal inner weight. My crazy has become a part of me. So without my crazy, I feel naked. So even though I asked the Lord to deliver me from it, I got to pick it back up and take it with me. Because, you know, who am I without my crazy? Right? And my sisters, they're just taking advantage, unfortunately, of us. And I'm talking all about me because we have confessions and conversations over here. They're taking advantage of you of us because they know you've done the work and they're excited for you. They need you at your best so that when they come to you at their worst and as you fight to get to them, to give them the something that they need, they don't care that you almost drown to get to them, to deliver to them the thing that they said they need. They don't care. You best be in good shape. If Jasmine is on here, you better be like Jasmine and work out every day. Get you some nice guns. So when they come to you at their worst and you got to fight to get to them, to give them what they said they need, that you ain't dying. Don't lose trying to help them win. Just saying. Just saying. So that is the fearless thought for today. I hope it has helped somebody. It helped me. If you missed the earlier part, honey, I worked my whole life out in that. So don't forget um, that I am doing a book tour. Tampa is my first stop. Um, so you can go to bit.ly, uh, Tampa Crazy, or bit.ly um, forward slash book tour 2019 and pre-order book one and book two if you would like for me to sign it. If you would like for me to come to your city, I'm still looking for somebody to host in Charlotte and Raleigh. Uh, if you want me to come to your city, please let me know. If you want to do an intimate group of my sister's keeper with the only Live Past Crazy Specials, I'm available to do for those as well. Just please let me know and we can make it happen. Right, Margaret. 
Exactly. See, Jasmine at the gym. Jasmine working out. So when somebody calls her at their worst, she ready. But Jasmine, don't lose trying to help them win. And that's, and that's the period. You can apply that to relationships, to work, to your mom and them, your sister. It doesn't matter. So don't forget we are doing uh, I Am My Sister Keeper Retreat. Um, so bit.ly Girlfriends Retreat 2019. The early bird tickets are on sale. It's August the 23rd through the 25th in Clearwater. It's going to be at the Edge Hotel. It's going to be different. We're not coming to a conference to get dressed up, to sit in a room, to hear people talk. This will be an intimate circle. We're going to be on the couches, hanging out, and we're going to be doing all the things so that we can have the girlfriends in. Y'all, I did my workout this morning, 5.15. No, no, I'm sorry, 5.45. Angry, but I did the workout. I did it. Praise Jesus. A to the man. So I did it. So make sure you sign up. You sign up for the retreat and bring a sister with you. More importantly, bring a sister with you. I hope you guys have an amazing, an amazing Thursday. It's been my pleasure. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me because who am I? I'm just JoJo from Far City, you know, from Union Mills. Who am I to be telling anybody anything? However, I am the only live past crazy special. So what better place to be than here with me? I know a thing or two about crazy. If you want to know how I know crazy, you can go over to livepastcrazy.com, hear more about my story. If your friends and family do not have Facebook, we do have a YouTube channel. So you can binge watch all the fearless morning shows over there. So um, let me post that over there. Post a link for that so you don't even have to do that. So that you can um, go over there and just watch all the fearless morning. We have over 350 shows, 360 maybe, um, shows over there. So you can binge watch all of them. And uh, just remember, I am my sister's keeper. I take it very seriously um, to be my sister's keeper, to help someone um, live past crazy. And, it, you know, I am my brother's keeper. So um, if we know something, we've got to help our sister. Why would we hold it back from her when we've suffered for so long? So let me end with the quote again. Dr. Sheldon Good, his mother gave this quote. And her thought, it was her for the thought of the day. Initiative cannot be taught. You have to realize that some people don't want better. They just want you at your best so you can be available to them at their worst. Don't lose trying to help them. Right. Don't let your family, you trying to live your best life for the family, but they, perfect example, and I'm really going to close perfect example is when you try to make more money or you go back to school so that you can make more money so you can provide better for your family so maybe you perhaps move and you're doing all the things for them and they take advantage so every week it's a phone call um can i borrow twenty dollars i need a hundred um can you do this for me because and it's always, and then, and you wanting, again, don't lose yourself trying to help them win. You wanting to help them win is setting yourself up for failure because you're losing. So, yeah, you may have the money to give, but it's taken away because you are who you are and you want to take what you have and give to somebody else. And then you're losing. Please understand, they, what they do not care about is what you have to go through or go to or figure out to make it happen for them. All they care about is that you are available to them. That you're at your top tip best. You Jasmine at the gym this morning. You're Margaret in the morning changing the world. We're doing all the things. They want you at your best. So that when they call you with the trauma, the drama, the same thing that doesn't end. So when they call you with that. You can fight to get to them, to give them the word because they know you're at your best and they're going to continue to take advantage of that. And they don't care how you make it happen. All they know is that they can call JoJo and miraculously things happen. Anybody else been guilty of that? My sisters and my brothers, that's called taking advantage of. It'd be, I'm not going to say that. 
That's it. I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday. I hope you have a beautiful, thankful Thursday. Be peaceful. My tattoo is coming right along. It's not itching as bad as I thought. I want you to be peaceful. Remember, you are your sister's keeper. You are your brother's keeper. Please make sure you share the show because sharing is caring. My name is Yamitra Jojo Waddell, the only Live Past Crazy Special, so what better place to be than here with me? Please make sure you join me on that Girlfriends Retreat, August the 23rd through the 25th. Um, we will. Uh, it's going to be a different kind of retreat. It's not going to be we're going to sit down in a room. It, we're, we're going to talk about some things. It's going to be a sister circle. And bring your girlfriend with you. The early bird tickets are available. I just posted the link. bit.ly forward slash girlfriends retreat 2019. And it will be in clear water. So treat yourself as the kids get ready to go back to school in August. Y'all, yesterday was the last day of school. Can we say eight to the man? I'm excited. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining me and just listening. I greatly appreciate it as I work it out for myself. <laughs> Truly, I'm working it out for myself. I hope you have an amazing, amazing Thursday. Please be peaceful. Be thankful. And today, don't lose yourself trying to help somebody else win. Don't do it. You can give them the tools. There's a difference between giving them the tools and doing it for them. Initiative cannot be taught. That's what the man mama said. Initiative cannot be taught. All right, guys. I hope you have an amazing Thursday. And I will see you here bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one.